Hello, welcome to um, another tutorial. Um, today we are looking at creating a torch slash flashlight slash battery system um, within Unity. Um, this kind of system would be used with easily within kind of horror games. Um, I think loads of system, there is loads of kind of torch battery systems, loads of different types of games now. Um, where you pick up the batteries to kind of remain charged um, and keep that power. Outlast is probably one of the most popular ones with the video camera. And essentially we are doing that kind of system today. So as you can see at the moment, I've already added in, I've got a bit of a, um, a bit of a setup here where I've got created almost like a corridor thing. I've taken the idea from PT, I've stuck a light at the end of it. And I've also downloaded a, th a free first person controller, which I've just stuck in my scene here. So if you want this first person controller, it's here. So if you just go onto the Unity Asset Store, type in first person, all in one, free, open that in Unity. I then downloaded, I found another free asset for a flashlight called Flashlight Free and download that in um, the assets, from the Asset Store as well and import those into Unity. So all I've done is created a simple corridor room and stuff and these are just different cubes and planes that I've put together, including a point light at the corner of my room. I've then just inserted my FPS all in one, and that's where we've got to so far. So and as we can see, if I look at my scene, I can then walk in my scene, and yeah, there's that point light. And so it's quite dark, so a torch would be definitely be needed within this very quite narrow corridor. Um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to ins now insert that um, torch into our scene. So we've got two different ones, one with like a weird orangey yellowy light going on and one with um, just a, a normal kind of looking torch. Um, I think I'll go for the white light because the yellow light looks a bit weird. So what I'm going to do is attach my flashlight to the player camera of my um of my first person controller simply because if we look at this if I poke this flashlight out if we whoa right in the face and put this down there like that so we're going to need to rotate this what's well, minus 90 weird so let's go zero change that to zero and change that to zero see what that does oh no let's put that in a totally wrong direction so we're going to want this uh, 180. No, we're not going to want that 180. Where do we want this torch to go? Uh, da, 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 90. No, it's the wrong way. Let's keep that at zero. Let's keep this at 180. 90 even. There we go. Fantastic. Is it upside down? I can't really see. Let's double click so we can see. Oh, that's helpful. So let's have a look so that is upside down so i'm just going to rotate this by 180. no oh my days rotate it 180. why can't i rotate this i'm just going to do it manually it's going to be so much easier on the z there we go so i can actually see the switch of the light which is 90 on the z thank you cool so then what i'm going to do is put that there, put that across. My mate, this does a touch bigger. 1.5, 1 1.5, and 1.5. Lovely, that's looking good. So um, let's give this a quick play. And as I'm walking along, lovely, you can see that that light is nice working. All my shadows and my dark areas. Lovely, cool. So, okay. Happy with that. So we need to have a look at this white light that's popping out of here. Um, we've changed it to a spotlight, which is what we need. Um, We've got a range of duh, 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 range. Let's try, let's try range at twenty. Yeah, that looks quite good. 
Um, and intensity is currently at two. We can have a quite, if we put that range up to 10, that's quite thick, isn't it? Five. Lovely, or because two is quite strong medium. So if we go four, then we can kind of work around our numbers here. So if we say one battery per intensity, um, so if there's four batteries, then that creates um, four uh, four intensity. Really easy. One times table, add, add one, you get another one. Cool. Um, that's cool. And spot angle. What's ooh? Cool. That looks quite nice as well. Okay. So what we're going to do is going to our assets. Um, let us. Um, duh, 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 duh. So that's going to be talking to our white light. So let's create a script. We'll call this just flashlight. And we're going to add this flashlight script to flashlight. Um, cannot add script behavior compiling. Wait until compilation is finished. Try again and try again. Okie dokie. What's it compiling? Apparently nothing. Let's try that again. It's it gone in this time. We've got our flashlight elements and our mesh renderer. We've got an animator. And there's our flashlight script. So God knows what that animator does. Animate, flashing avatar. Oh, I haven't downloaded a prefab that already does what I want to do, does it? That will be irritating. I'm going to ignore it. Um, lovely, cool. So we don't really need the animator, but I know the prefab will kick off if I don't do that. So, um, let's have a look. So this says that light's facing down for some reason. I'm not gonna worry about it. So let's open, get into our script. And for now, what we need to do is make sure we can turn this uh, torch on and off. And when it's off, it's not taking any energy away. I'm not taking any battery power away. And when it's on, it is taking battery power away. So, um, so it will be a little bit more confusing than one times tables, but we, we'll work out the maths and see how quick um, the intensity will fade or die off. Cool, lovely. So I'll make this a bit bigger so we can see it. Um, so the first thing we're going to do first is make sure we can turn our lamp or light on and off. So we need to create a private and we'll call this, um, let's see if we can actually call up light, we can, and we'll do underscore light, lovely. So um, wicked, so let's create two methods because if we create methods this will become a lot easier for when we're controlling on and when we're controlling off for when we've added the batteries so what we need to do is create a public method so public void and call this on for our torch oh, it always does this so i'm going to call this public on so and then we'll have another method so i think i've deleted there we go and we'll call this one public void off. Lovely, so if we have those there, that would really, really help us out. Um, so what we can say is, um, if we go, so we can use, so we use our mouse clicks. So if we use our mouse clicks, that would be get mouse down. So in update, let's say um, this will be to turn torch on, not on, on, lovely. So if we say if input dot get 
uh, mouse button down and we're going to say we're going to press zero so that'll be our left click so zero and that'll be our left click we can then say our method for on which we will do in a moment but there we go there's the method and then we can say um, does it need to be else if else if no because that would be if that means we'd have to hold the button down all the time don't want to do that so if we say input dot get mouse button down and this time let's say right click for off so that would be one then we can just say our off method there we go cool so what we can do is this would be really really easy so if we go into our, our our white light here we can see our light here which we've already called up and if we just go we can just turn our light off like this we can just use our enabled or not enabled and you use it as a true or false within um within the method so what we can say is leave it on for the moment and now we can say in public void on we can say underscore light dot enabled equals true because our torch will definitely be on and then obviously for off go light dot enabled equals false lovely so if we save that go back into our script to oh, wrong thing Go back into our script. Get rid of that. Have a look on flashlight and we can see, is that compiled? Oh, that's not compiled. Oh, we need to serialize the field, sorry. So we've here, let's serialize this field for private. There we go, serialize that field, not serialize base. Oh dear. Serialize field. Save that again, make sure you serialize your field. There we go, so, oh, lost it. So there we go, it's asking for our light, and then we're gonna drag our white light into there. Fantastic, so there we go, white light, light. That's ask for, asking for the light. Get rid of whatever that is. So then if we initially disable our torch and press play, there we go. So if we're walking around, we then should click. There we go for a torch on and right click for our torch off. So if you even just wanted this for a quick mechanic, we can turn our torch on and off. Lovely, fantastic. Cool, so you're done if you don't want a, a battery system, but if you want a battery system, that is probably gonna be a bit longer. So what I can do, I know you can like section things off on YouTube videos, so we'll see um, if I can do that. I don't know how to do that, but I'll have a look. Okay, so what we now need to do is um, add a few more variables because we're adding batteries to our um, this. And obviously Unity does not know what a battery is when it comes to creating um, this kind of system. So what we need to do is say, at the moment, the max amount of batteries that we're going to have is going to be, so if we do, um, what did we say, four, didn't we say private, integer, um, max battery count, is going to be four, because it'd be four batteries. And then we can have um, private current batteries. So we know if we've got maximum batteries, also we know what power we're on. So if we have current batteries, we'll, we'll be, we say, say one at the moment, that'd be fine. Um, oh, it needs to be an integer. And do, 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 do. and then our we can do a 
private float. Whoa, no, 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 no. Private float. Oh dear, it's not going my way today. Private float. Um, max. Oh no, max intensity. Which we have said in our light is four as well. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cool. So if we make that four as well, that will make things a lot easier. I'll put four F. Cool, let's quickly serialize these fields because we want to edit these within the inspector. Lovely, quickly save that. Cool, so in void on, we need to check that we have our power. So if we go down to void on, We need to check that we have power. So check for power. So check for power. So we can say if oh there we go if current batteries is less than zero. And da, 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 let me have a think. So if current batteries is less than zero, we are going to want to create um, an intensity percentage, aren't we? So we might need to use the old maths F in here. I'm not too sure. Or will that work? Let's put like this. Figure this out first. So before we do that, let's say, um, what do we need to find out first? So if we've got our batteries at zero, we can say, if we could just create a float within here, so and call it, Intensity, nope, let's call it intent, intensity percentage. This will help us then say, this can become a cast float of current batteries. That's divided by a float of our max battery count. Cool, so then if we have that, we should be able to do the maths for it. Um, that if we say float um, intensity factor equals um, our max intensity will then be times by our intensity percentage. And then we can say our light dot intensity equals in intensity factor. Okay, so what we need to say is, um, if we write some pseudo, so our intensity factor is four, um, and then our max intensity is also four. So that'd be four. So for current batteries are zero, four and four would be zero, which is correct, because that's the number we're looking for. And then we need to say our percentage of float of current batteries would be one or zero, which would then be times by times by our intensity, which would be zero as well. 
So for, yeah, that works at the moment because intensity percentage is controlled by the current batteries, which is actually one. So it's one and that's divided by max battery count, which is four. So that creates 10%. Then our intensity factor is equal to our max intensity. And our max intensity is four times by our intensity percentage, which then, what did that create? As one, which would be 10%, making our light intensity the same as our intensity factor. Um, and then that would make, that would create one, which would then, we'd have to put this, in here so with this let's save this script and what we should do is that our intensity with these numbers should build should go down with the less batteries so let's go oh, let's click in the wrong thing so if we go press play um, turn our torch on um, and then if we go oh, let's just walk into this corridor here so I can see what's going on so then if i go and then went to the script so max battery count is four so if i add an intensity of six aha there we go so there we go we can see the intensity has gone major so if we go max max battery count is one and the current batteries is one and then to max intensity, what did we say, uh, 10? can't remember, no, four, four. So let's click on back on this. Okay, let's come out of this, let's come out of this and press play again. So, so I change my intensity to, let's just say 10, let's see, does this work? Yes, okay, so that works. Intensity has gone majorly up. Cool, so if I then change that to zero, let's go back into here, oh, that's not what I like, is it? Uh, no, is it? it has worked, there we go. So it's gone totally. So if I then change this to, um, cool, so that means we can change current batteries one, max count of batteries is four, intensities should be one. Yeah, there we go. So we can see just a little bit of a of a light there. So point two. Oh, let's add that to three batteries or four batteries. Hey, there we go. So because our current batteries is four, it has pushed up our max intensity. Cool. So it's added one every time, making that four. Lovely. Cool. That's working. I'm going to take that. Um, do, 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 do. let's have a look. Um, cool. So let's go and create a new method. So we need to add a battery. So let's add this below. Yep, yeah, that's fine. I'm just looking at that really weirdly. So let's create a brand new method. Public void add battery. And what we're going to say is check if we have max battery. Um, if we have max battery. So we're going to say if current batteries is equal uh, is over or equal to um, our max battery count max battery count we can say we can return this because it's not going to do anything and underneath we can just say current batteries plus plus if we don't have max batteries then we're just going to add a battery on cool so how are we going to add a battery on so for now, um, at the bottom of our update method, let's just add and let's have a look. Um, we can say if 
input, if I can see it, input dot get key down, get key down, key code. Oh, come on, what's going on today? Key code, please. Key code dot u. We can say add battery. Cool, so if, this should be easier to see the whole thing working. So if we just regulate this, I'm not really worried about any of these. Bits and pieces, so we can see, oh, let's press play. I'll just walk forward, oh, let's have a look up. Whoa, we've got the major intensity there, and what are we on at the moment? Max intensity 10. So if we, and current battery is one. If we press U, aha, current battery has gone up by two, three, four, and then we can't go anymore because, cool, that's working. Lovely. Cool. Lovely, so that's working. We can add batteries through current batteries now, that works lovely. So let's, um, hmm, oh yeah, I just realized actually, this is why we might have be having those intensity issues. If we go, let's just say, public void on awake, this could be a bit of a fix that I've just realized. Oh, no. <laughs> probably on awake, isn't it? No, it isn't. Public for awake. Why is that not working? It's working now. And um, we can say max intensity equals um, underscore light dot intensity. This is why I think our intensity hasn't been going up when we've been adding batteries. Let's see if this now works. Let's quickly give this a test. Let's click off that. Let's quickly. So our max intensity is 10. So if I press U, got another battery, another battery, another battery. Can't go any mode. Max battery catch four, max intensity is just gone to four. That's interesting. Let's come out of this. Max intensity is four. Max intensity should be ten. I oh, know because oh, no, I know. I think that's right, isn't it? Max intensity four. Yeah, because we've. Let's have a look at this. We've said. Max intensity is four. So max intensity needs to be 10F. Terrible. Max intensity needs to be 10F. Or does it, is that too much? I can't remember what we said. So let's come out of this and press play. And then if we, cool, so that's changing. If it's not changing our intensity, or is it changing our intensity? Matt, uh, come out of this. Max intensity 10. Our intensity here is four. Let's press play. And if I press U, uh, it's not going up, is it? Interesting. Batteries is not affecting our intensity. So max, and I did make max intensity. So max intensity should be light intensity of 10. Why is that not working? Wow, 
max intensity is 10. So current intensity is at 4 with 1. Oh, that's not going to work, is it? Unknown behavior is missing. Let's have a look at this. Oh, I'm not worried about that. Do, do, do. So we've got intensity four. It should be with, with batteries, it should be at one. So if I press play, and then I press U for adding batteries, ah, it's not happening. Intensity is not going up with more batteries. That's annoying. Why is that doing that? Current, uh, current battery is 1. Max intensity is 10. Or than that, because max in, uh, let's make max intensity 4. Let's make that 4. And then let's make that 4 here. So it's every battery for 1 creates. Oh my days. No, it's okay, it's all right. It's just having a bloody nightmare. Flashlight light is never assigned. I think it is. Because it's here. Don't know. Right, let's see if we can move on and see if we can get this working with um, saying our power is on or not. So. Uh, duh, 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 duh. let's create a new variable. Maybe this will work if he, if he knows it's the power when the power's on. Maybe it will make it work. Okay, so let's create a new variable. Let's call this um, probable and call it power on underscore power on and this is going to start us at false so it's not going to be on initially cool so on our on statement we are going to want to say right at the top here torch is on Definitely, so we're going to want to say um, oh, actually I oh, because no, this is our update, this is our update, we're going totally the wrong direction here this needs to be oh no, it is an on statement um, so if we say so we're not on and if you say not if, we then say at the top here, underscore power on equals true. Then in our off method, we can say power on equals false. Lovely. So once we've done that, we can say in update if power on is true, we can say that current batteries minus equals time dot delta time divided by five 
and then we can say, why doesn't it like that? It doesn't like that because float time dot delta time get the uh, completion of since we read only you cannot implicitly convert float to an integer. Oh, so what does that mean? Current batteries needs to be a float. Let's change that. See if that works. Yes. Ah, was that the issue we were having with our power? Let's figure this out. Let's see if that's true. So then we can just copy what we've got with our intensity factor up until uh, da, 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 float intensity percent. Yeah, so let's copy that. Or I know, is it a factor? No, we're going to want all of that, aren't we? Yeah, copy all of that. So that knows that we have that power. Cool, so. If we do that, if we go into our game, some methods will made everything fall together or everything fall apart, one of the two. Cool, so. Perhaps it doesn't seem to be failing, does it? Do, 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 that's annoying. Intensities and dying. Well, if I have that to four. Ah, look at that. It's died. So if I press U, it comes back up. So if I add batteries. Is working. Interesting. Right. Okay. So so that means my intensity has to start. So intensity has to start on four, but that's technically the maximum. We do 10 max intensity 10 max intensity 10 and then max intensity but battery count 4 current battery is 1 yeah but that won't work will it is it fading off again doesn't look like it does it Have a look. Pause our game. Oh, no, it's not pausing. It's just... So it's not now, it's not fading off. Okay, so we hit the nail on the head with four. Okay, so it's something to do with four. Four is the magic number. Because I think because we dictated it within our Scripts. That's not faded again. Oh, okay. It is working once I turn it on and off. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So if I start with my battery light being off, press play, turn it 
thermal light on, the battery starts to fade straight away. Lovely. Okay, so if we start our intensity with 10, add our... I just didn't realise the crosshairs there. It's interesting. Um, add that to... Current, oh, and then current back. Is that dying? Or oh, that's getting strong. Oh, no, it's not. It's dying off. It's dying off. It's dying off. That's good. So if we come out of this, say... Max intensity is 10. Max intensity is 10. Light needs to start off. And then intensity is 4. Let's change that intensity. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Because then we add batteries to add intensity. So if I add this, press play. So everything's fine. Turn my light on, power starts to go. Press U to power up batteries. Four batteries is the most I can have. Batteries are dying, batteries are dying. Nice and slowly. Batteries dying, batteries dying, batteries dying. Nearly in zeros. And gone. Add a battery, add a battery, add a battery, add a battery, add a battery. There we go, fantastic. So there we go, there is our system all working. We got there in the end, crikey, didn't we? So as we're walking around, we're looking at different items and stuff. Our battery's dying because we can see it in our intensity. And if we want to add a battery, just press U on our keyboard. And then again, we have to keep adding. So that's quite quick that that's dying off. But that's fine, the system works. Awesome. Cool. I might change that range actually. The range is annoying me. Oh, range is 20. I might just leave it. Cool. There we go. Um, we got there in the end. Um, this script will work. So if you write exactly this up, very confusing. I know. I do apologise. It's I've just been working out in my head as I kind of went. I wrote some um, initial um, script, but quite confusing. But we got it working. So and it will work. So there we go. See you soon. Thank you.